Hey Google, how does over-the-air TV work? My apologies, I don't understand. Hey Google, what is over-the-air TV? On the website gomohu.com, they say, over-the-air television refers to free high-definition television station broadcasts in your local area. Hey Google, how is over-the-air TV transmitted? On the website techopedia.com, they say, over-the-air television is a category of television broadcasting which makes use of television signals transferred by radio waves from television stations. Hey Google, Antenna Farm in Alvin, Texas. My apologies, I don't understand. Hey Google, Antenna Farm. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Hey Google. What is the difference between over-the-air TV and cable? On the website differencebetween.net, they say, a cable is used in the cable TV where the UHF and VHF bands are used to deliver television connected to a community antenna by a cable that receives the signal, while a digital television signal comes either through a cable or over the air. Hey Google, what is TV standby? On the website techterms.com, they say, standby. When electronic devices are receiving power but are not running, they are in standby mode. For example, a television is in standby mode when it is plugged in, but turned off. Hey Google. Why is over-the-air TV really slow? My apologies, I don't understand. Hey Google. What was the first over-the-air TV? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that. Hey Google, what is an antenna farm? According to Wikipedia, antenna farm or satellite dish farm or just dish farm are terms used to describe an area dedicated to television or radio telecommunications transmitting or receiving antenna equipment, such as C, K or K band satellite dish antennas, UHF, VHF, AM, FM transmitter towers or mobile cell towers. Hey Google, how does a radio tower work? On the website explainthatstuff.com, they say, 1. Electricity flowing into the transmitter antenna makes electrons vibrate up and down it, producing radio waves. 2. The radio waves travel through the air at the speed of light. Hey Google, how does a router work? On the website makeoysof.com, they say, to put it simply, a router connects devices within a network by forwarding data packets between them. This data can be sent between devices or from devices to the internet. The router does this by assigning a local IP address to each of the devices on the network. Hey Google, what was the earliest routers? My apologies, I don't understand. Hey Google, what is dial-up routers? On the website searchnetworking.techtarget.com, they say, a dial-up router that speaks Ethernet on the LAN side, so that you can connect the dial-up router to your 802.11 grams wireless router, OR. Hey Google, how does a cell tower work? On the website whatsag.com, they say, once the radio waves are emitted, the antenna from the nearest cell phone tower will receive them. The antennas of a cell tower can both transmit and receive signals from mobile phones. Hey Google, how are text message work? Sorry, I can't send texts yet. Hey Google, how does text message work? Sorry, I can't send texts yet. Hey Google, how does phone calls work? You can call friends, family, and businesses. For example, you could say, call John's Mobile or call the sandwich shop on Pierce Street. Hey Google, how may I take your order? You can buy snacks, beverages, household supplies and more from stores like Walgreens, Costco, and Target on Google Express. The more you shop, the more personalized your product results will be. Now, most merchants offer free delivery of orders over $35. When your order qualifies for free delivery, I'll let you know. But you can check out whenever you want. To try it out, say something like, buy paper towels. Hey Google, different types of internet routers. 
I found four on the website itstillworks.com. Wired router. Wired routers are typically box-shaped devices that connect directly to computers via hard-lined or wired connections. Wireless router. Similar to a wired router, a wireless router connects directly to a modem via a cable for receiving internet data packets. Core routers versus edge routers. And finally, virtual router. Hey Google, different types of modems. On the website techwala.com, they say, types. The types of available modems include analog, digital subscriber line, cable and integrated services digital network. Analog modems are used for dial-up connections. DSL and cable are high-speed broadband connections. Hey Google, what is Netgear Router? On the website netgear.com, they say, Netgear was first to introduce the world's fastest wireless router. That's just the latest evolution of a legacy of innovative wireless routers and modem routers. Hey Google, what is the difference between 5G routers and 2G routers? On the website support.stuff-fiber.co.nz, they say, the primary differences between the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz wireless frequencies are range and bandwidth. 5 GHz provides faster data rates at a shorter distance. Hey Google, different types of Wi-Fi ranges. My apologies, I don't understand. Hey Google, what was the early internet? On the website history.com, they say, the first workable prototype of the internet came in the late 1960s with the creation of ARPANET, or the Advanced Research Projects Agency Network. Hey Google, what is newsreels? Here's the definition of newsreel. A short film of news and current affairs, formerly made for showing as part of the program in a movie theater. Hey Google, what is fiber optic cable in the internet? On the website reviews.org, they say, Fiber Internet uses fiber optic cables instead of copper wires. Fancy. In a nutshell, Fiber Internet lets you surf the interwebs through fiber optic cables. Hey Google. Which internet is faster? Here's a summary from the website at internetservice.com. Fiber optic internet sends data faster than basic cable. It's delivered on a dedicated line, which facilitates more consistent speed than cable. Fiber optic internet is less likely to go down during a power outage. Because fiber optic internet is made of glass, there is no electricity involved. Hey Google, what is 2G internet? According to Wikipedia, 2G is short for Second Generation Cellular Technology. 2G cellular networks were commercially launched on the GSM standard in Finland by Radiolinja in 1991. Hey Google, what is E for Internet? If I'm answering, then I have an internet connection, and I'm ready to help. Hey. What can I do for you? Hey Google, what is E Generation Mobile Signal? My apologies, I don't understand. Hey Google, what is 3G? According to Wikipedia, 3G, short for third generation, is the third generation of wireless mobile telecommunications technology. Hey Google, what is 4G? According to Wikipedia, 4G is the fourth generation of broadband cellular network technology, succeeding 3G. Hey Google, what is 4G LTE? According to Wikipedia, in telecommunication, long-term evolution is a standard for wireless broadband communication for mobile devices and data terminals based on the GSM Edge and UMTS HSPA technologies. Hey Google, what is Edge Internet? Here's a summary from the website techwala.com. The Edge network stands for Enhanced Data Rates for Global Evolution. It is used to provide fast internet service to cell phones and can be used to fill in the gaps of coverage networks from the cell phone providers. Hey Google, what is G Internet? On the website LinkedIn.com, they say, letter G stands for GPRS. It indicates the slowest speed of internet data transfer in your mobile phone. When you see G near your signal strength indicator, it is certain that your net connection is working at the slowest speed. Hey Google, what is the slowest mobile data? My apologies, I don't understand.